We're here at our seasonal creek here on my property at home near Hoplin. As you can see, the creek is coming down pretty good right now. Maybe, uh, I don't know, 200 gallons a minute. This is an average flow in the middle of winter. We're in January 25th right now. And this is the creek from which the hydroelectric system comes off of. From where the water comes in at the top, it comes down about 1,600 feet here, which creates about 80 pounds per square inch with 1,600 feet of penstock, which is a four inch pipe that goes from the inlet on the creek all the way down to the hydroelectric plant, which we'll go and see in a minute. And as you, you'll be able to see, you lose no water at all. The water is diverted to the hydro, and then it comes right back into the creek. You lose not a drop of water, and you're probably only diverting maybe, I don't know, 1% or 5% of the water coming down the creek. Here is the hydroelectric plant itself. It's a high power, four nozzle system that will put out approximately a total of about, uh, right now, maybe 28 amps at 50 volts, so you're getting about 1,400 watts continuous, about 34 kilowatt hours per day, uh, which is enough to run about two times the average American home, and all for a cost of maybe one-fifth of the cost of solar. So if you have running water on your property and enough fall to get maybe 60 or 80 PSI, hydro is by far a much better bet than solar, and it's also a great adjunct to solar because when the sun's not shining, typically the water's running in the middle of winter. So all in all, hydroelectric is a great way to go.